Back for more here at Quarterback Film Room. We're going to take a look at every single Baker Mayfield throw from the Rose Bowl. And just evaluate throw by throw here. So that first one, first play of the game, he puts nice touch on the football. Let's go back. So obviously he's on the move. Now, Mayfield's adept at throwing on the move, and he puts the ball in a great spot on that particular throw. Now, the next throw, he comes back, a design play action, tight end pop pass. I like it. Okay, He, he throws a catchable football <clears throat> for his guy. Now, he's going to come back on this on the following play, and, and he's going to hit his under route, and it's fine. It's a completion. You know, he's going through his reads. Could he have been a little bit quicker? Yes. But watch his feet. He's so sandlot with his feet. It's just like he's out there just popping back and just popping up on those feet as opposed to being regimented and elitely disciplined from a footwork standpoint. And that's something that he will have to fix because he's very lax in that category. Right here, he makes a great throw. Again, this is a post-snap read where he's reading the coverage post-snap, as we'll see from the tight angle, the hard play-action pistol fake, and then he's getting the ball out immediately. That's something he excels at. He's able to anticipate throws both in the pocket and on the move. Now, the the accuracy component will come into play, as we'll see later on. Right here, he's going to go up top. His wide receiver did him no favors here in terms of creating separation as he's way too close to the sideline. Here it is one more time. But we can see the ball sort of die at the end. Now, Mayfield does have a, you know, a slightly above average arm. Okay, so, you know, obviously not a huge arm, but his arm isn't weak. Um, there he throws a design bubble screen to his receiver. He's going to come back. He's going to throw a slant. It's it's complete against a college defense. In the NFL, it's going to have to be quicker. Again, that release is just too long. It's, it's just a bit long. It's not fast enough. His feet aren't quick enough. There's just a lot of slowness at times, something that continues to rear its head on film. Slowness in terms of when he makes the decision to throw his feet working in conjunction with the length of his release, which can get long and can lead to inaccurate throws. Okay? Right here, he's going to come back. Hard eye manipulation to the left, which is great. He, you know, he's comfortable doing that, and then he's thrown over the top to his tight end. So ultimately, he's he's not as polished as we'd like him to be. Okay, he's more polished than a Johnny Football, but he's not as polished as a rookie NFL starting quarterback needs to be. At this point, who knows if that can change? So, Oklahoma's in the red zone here. More hard play action pistol. Then he's going to pop up, and he's going to throw it. It's just a little bit long. Not a horrible throw. Not a lot of separation. He's coming back. He's going to pump, and then he's going to throw a dig route over the middle. This should have been a completion. But notice the feet um, are not elite. Are, you know, his, his feet aren't even above average on this throw in terms of timing, rhythm, and then his release gets a little funky. It's that long release, man. I'm telling you. Russell Wilson does have a bit of a long release, but it seems to be that Wilson is more accurate than Mayfield. And, of course, Russell Wilson, a guy who Mayfield is compared to, played in a pro-style system at, at Wisconsin his senior year, and he threw the ball a ton at North Carolina State. Right there, he's going to get the ball out of his hand pretty quickly to the rocket screen without his feet. It's a good job. He's throwing the slant. He double-clutched it, though. He's coming here. He's double-clutching. He's throwing the slant. It's a good ball, though, still. <clears throat> so certainly not trying to discredit what this kid accomplished. Heisman Trophy winner. He put up you know asinine numbers in the Big 12, but what... What our job is, is is to nitpick at times, okay? And it's to nitpick these guys. And Mayfield, being over, you know, being only six feet tall, it's clear that he struggles to see at times. Um, and his pocket presence 
is below average. Right here, he's going to come back. He's going to throw a dig late. Good ball. So this was a throw here. Okay, watch this. Watch his pocket awareness, his, his pocket presence. He's reacting to phantom pressure, and he's throwing without his feet to the over route, which should have been a completion. But he shoots him high. Here he comes back, throws the under with anticipation, good throw. But still, his feet weren't underneath him. See what, let's see what we got. <clears throat> so more pocket issues right here. He was 100% in the shotgun as well. So there's going to be that natural adjustment to operating from under center as he goes to the National Football League. Nobody was really open on this play. Although the slant was open right now on his left. So if, he, if, if he's able to reset and throw, well, he's not. Way too much pressure. Let's take a look at this flea flicker action. Sets up, throws with anticipation. Tight coverage. Hard play action yet again. Scooting up in the pocket. Nice pocket presence there, but he gets sacked. That's another element of Mayfield's game. He has a tendency to want to step up. Even when there's a little bit of you know outside pressure, he will step up too far at times, and he'll actually run himself into a sack. Right here, something similar happens. Stepping up, and then he gets sacked. I think he got sacked on this play, too. Yeah. Here's, here's the interception against Georgia. Here, uh, a little bit of pressure forces something down the field. You say, well, where should he have went with the football? <sighs> I'm not sure. You know, this, this may not be his fault. He could have certainly hit his deep curl on the left. Uh, you know, man to man under. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so they're playing quarters. He should have recognized this was quarters, anticipated the deep curl to the left. He comes back here, more pocket jitteriness, and he hits his under. And I know, it. I, I, I mean, it sounds like I'm just bashing on him here. And I kind of am. But I understand he does some things really well. Like he throws the deep ball really well at times, right? like right there. He can create off structure in an elite Russell Wilson type fashion. But that pocket awareness is not elite, as to say a Wilson's. Right here, uh, great job, second reaction play, throwing on the move for six, as we see the tight copy. He's stepping up, he's looking right, nothing's there. Great throw. But if you notice, it's still behind him. It's still a little bit behind the receiver. He has to stop. So, eh. more play action, throwing the curl. All right, so just a quick sample of Mayfield here. We've done about three to four tape studies on him. I feel like he's not a first round prospect.